Whether you're just getting started in the pickleball game or you've been honing your skills for a while, there are always ways to take your game to the next level. From focusing on technique to mastering tactics, every player should be eager and willing to explore strategies that will help them fine-tune their pickleball skills. Hello, and welcome to Pro Pickleball Media, your number one spot for all pickleball content. Our channel is dedicated to the fastest growing sport in the United States, and we cover all fun and exciting things related to pickleball. So if you love pickleball and want to learn more about it, just take a second to subscribe and press the bell icon so you don't miss any of our recent videos. In today's video, we are going to talk about five key strategies that can help you to become a better player in pickleball. Now let's get right into the video. Number one, play with those in your skill level or slightly above. With its family-friendly appeal, pickleball is simple to learn and play, but don't be fooled by the family-friendly ambiance. Pickleball is no stroll in the park. There are constantly new levels to reach and talents to hone for everyone, from seasoned veterans to utter beginners, but that's half the fun. So how do you tell the difference in abilities? That's where player ratings come into play. If you want to learn more about pickleball ratings or aren't sure how to discern someone is at your level, check out Paddletech's write-up on pickleball ratings and follow the three stages to find your rating. But for the sake of brevity, let's simplify the concept of player ratings. USA Pickleball divides players into ability levels ranging from 1.0 to 5.5 and higher. You may notice distinctions for these players if you visit some pickleball courts or leagues. If you're new to the game of pickleball, you're probably a 1.0 or 2.0 player. With your skill and experience level, you should not play against opponents rated higher than a 2.5. If you do, you will lose, and you will lose horribly. Losing isn't always as bad as we make it out to be, and it can be a valuable learning experience. But if the other player's footwork, techniques, dinks, and volleys are so confused that you can't identify what happened, you won't be able to learn anything. While playing with players of your skill level, we recommend having someone with more experience oversee the game. This manner, if you or your opponent makes a major error about where you can stand on the court, how you're scoring, or what you consider a fault, the monitor can point it out, allowing you to better as a result. After all, Internalizing wrong rules is one of the worst things you can do when still learning pickleball. They become more difficult to shake the longer you have been playing incorrectly. 2. Stay loose but ready. When a game is in action on the pickleball court, you must always be aware and ready to strike the ball. If you were distracted or didn't realize the round had begun and the ball whizzed right by you without you doing anything, that was your fault. If you make a mistake while your opponent is serving, you've just cost yourself a point. That's not a good way to start or end a game of pickleball. Don't let yourself get caught napping on the court. Instead, stay attentive and ready to strike. So, how do you go about doing this? Focus on the pickleball at all times, whether you're serving or your opponent is. You should keep an eye out for your opponent's serve or return, as this will suggest how the ball will behave. Yet your gaze should always be fixed on the ball. By the way, being ready does not imply standing tight and rigid. We propose the athletic stance to stay in the game and get the most out of pickleball. Maintain proper posture by keeping your shoulders and knees aligned and leaning forward without arching your back or craning your neck. When executed correctly, this position forces you to play more fluidly and loosely, resulting in faster and more forceful motions. Maintaining proper form protects you from injury and keeps you at the top of your game. Now before we move ahead to talk about more game-changing pickleball tips, please take a second to like this video and subscribe to our channel so that we can keep bringing more informative pickleball content to you. Your little contribution means a lot for us. Number 3. Progress to deep serves. If you're new to pickleball, improving your serve can help you take your game to the next level. We've compiled a plethora of information to assist you in honing your serve and making it consistent and accurate. Check them out since little changes in technique can make a big difference on the court. When you've perfected your consistently accurate serves, move on to deeper ones. Deep serves will keep your opponents at bay and offer experienced players an advantage. It's an easy way to identify a pickleball novice from an expert. 
taking on more difficult opponents in tournaments, or advancing to the next skill level in your league? If you want to be successful, you must master deep serves. Deep serves propel the pickleball deeper into the service box, forcing your opponent to move past their baseline and increasing their return distance. Even better if you can hit your deep serves to your opponent's backhand. Most players' backhands are naturally weaker than their forehands, thus you put them at a disadvantage. Deep serving should be practiced before being used in games. You may find yourself hitting the ball out of bounds more than you'd like at first. So practice determining how much strength is required to keep within bounds while also landing in the last 6 to 12 inches of the court. As you might expect, consistency may be a difficulty at first, but don't give up. The more you practice, the better your accuracy will become. Remember that this also applies to serve returns. The deeper the better as long as they stay within bounds. Last but not least, don't forget to keep your opponents guessing so they can't predict your next move. Change up your serves, experiment with depth and height, and throw in a few surprises. To stay ahead of the competition, you must keep them guessing, or else they will quickly modify their plan to counter yours. 4. Monitor your progress. How can you know whether you've gotten better at pickleball? There are several ways to tell, but the most basic is to keep track of your wins and losses during regular and tournament play. You can also use USA Pickleball's free skill assessment sheets. The sheets begin at 2.0 and progress all the way to 5.0. Each sheet offers a list of the talents required to play at that ability level. You can print the pages and tick off each ability as you learn it. It's never a terrible idea to have a friendly pickleball observer keep track of your development. Obtain an unbiased evaluation from someone who knows the game, your doubles partner or a trustworthy friend, and evaluate your skills on a regular basis. When you've mastered all of the talents for one level, it's time to move on to the next. For instance, mastering all the concepts of 2.0 level play includes an entry-level grasp of basic rules, knowledge, scorekeeping hand-eye coordination, good quickness and mobility, how to serve and return a serve where to stand, how to volley, how to hit a forehand and backhand. Once you have that under control, you'll be ready to play at a 2.5 level. If you use USA Pickleball's skill assessment sheets, you'll use a scale rating of 0, 3 for each category, 0, you cannot execute the skill, 1, indicates the execution is very poor, 2, this means your form is good but you need work, 3, says your performance is consistent and solid. Getting a realistic evaluation of your pickleball skills is essential for setting goals and working towards them. Don't be fooled by overestimating yourself. You could call yourself a 5.0 player, but when you go up against a true 5.0, you'll soon realize what that rating means. So perhaps the best way to keep sharpening your skills is with honest evaluations from an unbiased source. Number five, improve your smarts, not your energy output. Is it necessary to put in extra effort to improve in pickleball? Yeah and no. You'll be able to move with incredible deftness if you develop your skills to a particular level, 4.5 to 5.5 or higher, and you'll be able to switch between serves with ease. But you're not necessarily investing more physical effort. Instead, you're being more strategic. You're looking at your opponent, assessing them, watching how they play, and then responding based on what you know about them. You're playing chess, not checkers, as the adage goes. You're still giving everything you've got, but you're not pushing yourself too hard to get more force or strength out of your methods. You won't be able to play smarter rather than harder overnight. It takes a lot of effort and many pickleball games to understand how to execute it and use it efficiently. Reduced intensity does not imply decreased effort or laziness. You are not awarding free points to your opponent. You're using your energy wisely so you don't run out of gas halfway through the game and lose points you could have won. Finally, it's critical to remember to have fun and enjoy the game. After all, it is why you began playing pickleball in the first place. It is not always necessary to focus on developing your skill or winning. Spend some time on the court chatting with your partner or opponents, cracking jokes, and getting to know one another. Starting into your pickleball journey with the appropriate mindset and approach can make all the difference and make these five methods feel more natural.
Additionally, when you combine winning with something you appreciate, it tastes much better. So what do you think about these five pickleball tips? Tell us in the comments. Also, don't forget like this video and share it with your fellow picklers. Also, if you love pickleball, then make sure to watch this next video on our channel. Thanks for watching. Bye.